The unraveling of the alliance that controlled the Yemeni capital, Sana'a, was as unexpected as it has been violent. Dozens have been killed or wounded since the fighting began on Wednesday between forces loyal to ousted President Ali Abdullah Saleh and the Houthis. Now Saleh is calling on Yemenis to rise against his former partners. I call on all the Yemeni people in all the cities, all the provinces, all the districts and neighborhoods to take a united stand to defend the revolution and the republic against this group who have been irresponsibly playing with Yemeni people for the past three years, robbing the institutions and breaking into government buildings only to take revenge on the revolution and the republic. Saleh has called for talks with the Saudi-led coalition on condition they stop their air attacks, lift a crippling blockade and allow for more humanitarian support. A coalition statement welcomed Saleh's move, saying it would redeem Yemen from the evils of Iranian terrorists and sectarian militias, return it to pan-Arab pure and natural fold. But the Houthis, who are backed by Tehran, say they still have support from members of Saleh's political party and addressed Saleh directly. We used to praise your position in the past, even though it was one of words only, which came with its fair share of backstabbing, disappointment, discouragement, disobedience and many other problems. We remained patient, but that wasn't enough for you. Shame on you, a big shame. Saleh struck an alliance with the Houthis after a popular uprising ended his 33-year rule in 2012. He was succeeded by his deputy, Abdul Rabu Mansour Hadi, who fled to Saudi Arabia after the Houthi takeover in January 2015. And it was there he called an emergency meeting on Saturday to discuss the situation. The Saudi-led coalition has been fighting to restore Hadi to power. Meanwhile, Saleh says he wants a quick end to the conflict, which has evolved into the world's largest humanitarian crisis. But regional analysts believe Saleh is personally motivated and is looking for a future role for him and possibly members of his family in government. Whatever the case, this latest violence is threatening to destabilize Yemen even further. Hannah Hoxter, Al Jazeera.